If you're looking for a fun sort of mojito riff for party season, for autumn, for winter, actually in the summer as well, this will work. Ignore what it says in a bottle, this will work because it is so tasty. I present to you my kind of winter spiced tangerine mojito. I've been rocking out Monin's tangerine puree fruity mix for the last couple of weeks. I absolutely adore this stuff. I really, really do. I've said it before, I'm going to get a bottle for my channel, um, sort of rum cocktails, because it's just amazing. It's like marmalade. You'll see me when I'm pouring it. It's just glorious. You can put it on your toast. But then we're combining it with this syrup as well. And this is Monin's winter spice syrup. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But just imagine those winter spices, cinnamon cloves, nutmeg, bit of ginger, chili. It's stunning. This mojito is possibly one of the best I've tasted. Uh, we're not using soda water. We've got another kind of wintry, well, summer. It goes hand in hand with summer as well, but a different mixer uh, to top this up. So let's get into it. So ingredients for this, again, nice and simple. You've already seen this. Ta Monin's tangerine syrup. I've made a whole theme of these over the last couple of weeks. It's an awesome kind of puree. Did I say syrup? A puree, fruity mix, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to combine that with Monin's uh, winter spiced syrup. Oh my God, this is even better. It's like, it's like clove, cinnamon, uh, nutmeg in there, bit of ginger. Um, I think it's a bit of chili or a bit of pepper in there as well. It's just a phenomenal kind of wintery spice syrup. Amazing. Your favorite rum of choice. You could even go spiced rum in this. Uh, limes, obviously some mint leaves. And instead of soda water, because I actually did this, I did two cocktails that were very similar for Shorts Reels for our Instagram. But kind of the combination of them kind of came together. So instead of soda water, I'm going for ginger beer. Now this is a really, really simple one. No need to shake or anything like that. We make it straight in the glass. Ooh, that's a good job I left the lid on there, isn't it? Now I just want 25 ml uh, of lime juice. So this may be half a lime, it may be a whole lime. It will, we shall just see. Yeah, it's gonna be a whole lime because that's about 15 if I'm lucky. <laughs> Right, so we get that. So let's squeeze this one in. And this should be, yeah, look at that. About 20, 20 mil, that'll be fine. So the juice of one lime, that'll be perfect. Let's just sit that over there. So the juice of one lime going in there, brilliant. Right, uh, the tangerine syrup. Uh, again, these, this works quite well because it's actually not that sweet. Uh, so you can sweeten up slightly with some sugar if you wanted to. If you didn't want to use that normal sugar or you can just leave it as it is. It's up to you, adjust to your own power. I'm going 15 mil for this, so one five of tangerine syrup. And if you've not seen any of the previous videos, have a look at that. Look at all the glorious bits of tangerine. All that zest coming out there. Oh, it's, it's good. It's Honestly, it's really, really good. One of my favorites. Right, uh, and let's give you a close up on that as well. So we've got our, our winter spice syrup. So I'm going for 15 ml of this as well. <sighs> Lovely, right. Pop that there. Uh, and then I'm going for 50 ml double bubble, your favorite rum, spiced rum, whatever you got. You can hold double bubble of rum. Bits of, uh, bits of syrup coming over your fingers now, so that's fine. Right, and then mint, hopefully I've picked them off, so nice for speed. So we want about eight to 10 decent sized mint leaves. You can kind of sort of see the size there. Uh, and just need to spank the mint and then just pop them in the glass. We never muddle mint, because all you want is a nice, delicate, fresh aromas. You don't want uh, kind of the bitterness if you're gonna muddle. And then uh, ginger beer, or if you wanna go soda water, or even ginger ale, be my guest. But kind of half fill the glass. It will be about 75 mil if you've got a decent sort of sized highball. Uh, but whatever you got, but just fill the glass up. Now, uh, ice up. I'm just I was using my hands there for a second, but I've got a scoop there. I've got a mixture of cracked ice and um, sort of, well, cracked ice, cubed ice in there. We just give it a lot, take a long bar spoon, and we've got plenty of sort of puree down the end here. So we just kind of give it a nice sort of churn. I don't know whether the close up will pick that. Can you see that like the little zesty bits of the puree coming up there? Nice. Right, let's just top up with more crushed ice cubed ice, cracked ice, that's the proper word. And then garnish wise for this, uh, sprig of mint, back of your hand again to awake the aromas. And the mint always goes beside the straw. As I say, I've got a straw here actually, goes beside the straw. So when you have a little sip through the straw, it's the mint that goes straight up your nostrils. And that's kind of my winter spice tangerine mojito. 